All right, you people of the moor, good to have you back this weekend. Uh, coming to you with a couple things as we enter this, I guess, last week of July. Uh, our Sunday supper sign-ups. So the supper that we host for the students after the 5 p.m. mass uh, starting mid-August. Um, it's time to sign up. So if you're interested in hosting that, sometimes a couple families team up. Sometimes um, we have a local Catholic restaurants who will uh, take care of it. Sometimes it's a group of students. Somebody will sponsor a group of students to cook uh, and then reimburse. But if it's something that uh, you are interested in, although I will warn you, now we're we're cooking on average for about 100 kids. So that's that's the the goal whenever you come to cook. So I know it can be daunting, but you can do it. Uh, so we, we want you to contact Kelly. So there's some information on the bulletin about it, big flyer. Um, so if you know someone or are interested in cooking a Sunday supper, uh, get a hold of her and she has a list of all the dates that are open and we can take care of that. So that's Sunday supper. Uh, parish night out. So this Sunday, so you're getting this Saturday morning. This is Saturday morning. So tomorrow night, uh, we have 505 game at the Fireflies. Uh, let's pray that it doesn't rain. It's been raining a lot recently, but we're in a nice little section where the shade will hit first if the sun is out. Um, and remember, $5 of every ticket comes back to us uh, for our land purchase. So it'll be a nice little uh, game out. Hopefully we'll get to see everybody out there. Um, any questions on that, just email us here at the ranch. Um, I notice, I know a lot of you are hawks. You watch that little offertory box. Um, so I just wanted to let you know, you'll notice that the number, the weekly number needed has changed. So July 1st is the change of the fiscal year in the diocese. Um, so July 1st, we switched from the 2021 fiscal year into the 21-22 fiscal year. Uh, so things reset. So in case you were watching that, that's why that did that. And you'll notice that the number needed has increased. Um, that's for our operations uh, here, the base operations and campus ministry kind of stuff. So for the stuff that we have planned this year and uh, breaking down the expenses by 52 weeks, that's the number uh, that we've come to, to trying to, to get and provide some of the ministries. Planning on bigger number of students this year, we have some of our base costs have increased. Um, so that's why that number has increased. So for example, if everybody, for what they're giving, um, I think it's about a 10% number there. So if you're giving uh, $5 or 10, if you're giving $10, then uh, a good way for all of us to do this is that we begin to give 11. Um, you know, if you're giving $20, give an extra two. And then between all of us, we can easily um, cover that. But right now we're, we're already on track. You know, people have been very generous. Um, but that's what I would ask of you as you look at what you're giving um, monthly or however you're giving. Um, if it's something you could add that percentage, especially that little 10% piece, then all of us across the board will be able to cover uh, that for this year. Your generosity always amazes me, but I know you always watch the numbers as well. So I want to explain that to you and encourage you. Um, you know, that extra 10% uh, would be extremely helpful to us for our operating for this year. As always, if you have any questions on that, let us know. Once all the numbers are wrapped up, um, the, the diocese takes the month of August to really finish wrapping up uh, half second half of July, beginning half of August to wrap up all the numbers. And then um, they always ask the parishes to give an accounting to the parishioners. So once all that's wrapped up, we'll put something in the bulletin and uh, show that to you. As always, though, if you have any questions, let us know. Finally, a welcome back to our missionaries. This week, our missionaries, Focus missionaries are coming back. Uh, so we've been um, the staff has been working diligently uh, all summer to prepare, and this is the beginning of the returns. So, you know, the leases will begin August 1st for many of our students, but also including our missionaries, they'll be coming back and doing their training, their phase three training, as they call it, uh, coming up here in the weeks leading up to the return of our people. So we're very excited about all that. Uh, definitely say hello to them if you see them at Mass this weekend. It's gonna be a good time, very excited. Uh, there's more to come, but next week we will talk about that a little more. Um, yeah, I will put in one last plug actually. So there is, uh, the 31st is actually a Saturday morning. So the next time you get a video, you won't see this. Um, so the 31st, we're going to have a little work day, uh, out here. We're going to uh, be fixing a lot of these kind of trip hazards and, uh, blocks in the back. Um, 
So we're gonna pour in some concrete, but Saturday morning, July 31st, we're gonna have a work day. We have a bunch of the, the students out here and inviting the, the parishioners out as well if they want to come out. And we're gonna pull up a lot of the slate, uh, pull up some of the bricks and get it ready for when the concrete people come to pour August 3rd. Um, so just putting that out there, if you are free Saturday morning, July 31st, we'll put some more information out. Uh, but come on out. We'll have a little work day. And as always, if we get too many people, there's lots of stuff to be done around here. We'll put a paintbrush in your hand and take care of it. All right. That's what I got. I went long today. Oh, man, I'm over five minutes. I'm out of here. See ya.